from the Kipperidge Gundogs. So good evening and welcome to Adrian and Caroline Slater. Hiya guys, everybody having a good time? Yes! Everybody seems to be having a good time when they were doing fly ball. Right, we're going to train some puppies. Caroline, you come up here. These puppies are probably the softest we've ever bred. So you can imagine, I've got a talk in a squeaky voice. And uh, it does make it difficult when you come from Wigan. So, Caroline, if you, uh, that's it. So, we're going to use their magic treats. Up to now, we've made the puppy as wild as we can with the ball. Chasing the ball and enjoying what it's all about. So we're just doing a little sit. Have you got that? When you're doing gun dog training, guys, you can take your little puppy to a good citizen's uh, training centre and get the puppy trained in group training. Doesn't matter what it is, Spaniel, Labrador, Pointer, whatever. But when you do any retrieving, you must do puppies individually. The last thing you want is that puppy on a lead, pulling away and starting making noises. Give these pups a big round of applause, guys. They're doing well. So, Caroline, quick sit, stay, darling. So we're just going to do a quick sit, stay. Sit, walk away. Uh, I know you're not used to your lead. Sit. Return to them. Remember when they're young, don't be mean like I am. Give them a treat every time. <laughs> Sit. Walk away again. We're going to go back to them and treat them. Now, what we found was these puppies, because I got them a little bit too wild, the retrieving and the delivery was terrible. So we've done a little bit of sit and hold. So that's where we put the dummy in the mouth, sit, and put the command hold. You can still do your sit, stay, walk away. Now, if you notice, it calms the puppy down. Now, what's happening with Evelyn is the shadows are frightening her a little bit. It did the other day in the dog activity stand. Anybody ever wants to talk about gun dogs? That's where me and Caroline is. Dog activity stand, and we do two shows a day there. Excellent. I think Evelyn's done well, Caroline. Remember, ladies, you're okay. Men, you're so aggressive. You go in and take your time, hands underneath, take it off them. Give them a big round of applause, guys. Brilliant. Right, Cop, you take her off. Jobs are good and get George ready. So, we're going to do little retrieves now. But we're going to try and stop puppy running in. So how do we do that? Come on, Lloydie, Lloyd. Never mind the shadows. Lloydie, Lloydie. Oh, it's not looking so promising, is it? Right. We're going to do a sit. We're going to drop the little paint roller. We're going to go back to them. How do we get the dog focused back on us? Well, we engage the nose. So, show them the treat and take them just off it a little bit. Sit them. Lloyd, get out. Yes. Come on, Lloydie. Come on, show them that presentation you've been practicing. Sit. Big round of applause. Excellent. Brilliant. Good boy. Come on. Let's see if we can get him going a bit with ball. Come on, Lloydie. Lloydie, them shadows are doing your head in, aren't they? Lloyd, Lloyd. All right, you do a sit stay, it's brilliant. <laughs> I'm a, what? Fantastic. Right, we're going to engage the nose again. We're going to drop the paint roller. We're going to get Hilton sausages out from the hotel this morning. Right, Lloydie, follow the treat. So what we're doing now, we're doing puppy recall. Lloydie, sit. So we've engaged the nose. Remember, your puppy will believe its nose more than its eyes or its ears. We turn him round. We line him up. We're going to line him up the same for the rest of his life. Lloydie, get out. It's looking good. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Nice presentation. It's brilliant. Awesome. Last one. Are you coming? Come on. Come on, Lloyd. Lloydie, Lloydie. Come on. When you've got a puppy, the lower you can get, the more the puppy will come. Let's try it. Lloydie. Yes! Right, we're going to do a sit, stay the other way. Sit. We're going to go back to him and do that sit again. Sit. Walk away. 
Get, I've got a cold hot dog sausage this time. Lloydy, Lloydy. Nice 60. You can see the puppy's a little bit worried. I've done this on grass. We've never done it in the house. Right. Lloydy, get out. Looking good though now, isn't he? He's looking happy. <laughs> Sit. Brilliant. Good boy. That's Lloydy finished, guys. Thank you. And we're going to bring George on. Everybody remembers George in 2010, he was a puppy. This is our Louise. Right, we've been practicing this. We did 10 minutes on Wednesday. <laughs> we're always the last to practice and I feel so sorry for guys who are helping us. Right, just walk him up, take your lead off. Right, we're gonna do, we did last year, what did we do last year? We did the long jump. This year we're doing the high jump. Okay, so you've got to remember it's a Labrador, so we're going to start at this height. No. So, what we're going to teach the dog is memory retrieves. We've just done little memory retrieves with Lloydie. But if this were grass, we'd put three or four dummies down, and obviously the dog wouldn't swap or anything. But being here, we're just going to put one down at a time. Walk him off a teal and take him over there. So we're going to walk him off. Take him right down to tunnel, darling. That's where we worked it out from. Must get them steps right. Right, you're gonna line him up. Pick that one first. And hopefully he goes back. Looking good, brilliant. Give him a big round of applause, guys. So of course we're gonna have to raise the bar. Who watched the Olympics? Did you watch the Olympics? Was it brilliant or was it brilliant? Right. So, in the eye jump, what did they do, guys? So we can do that. Line him up. It's over there. Yes! Come on, George. Whoa! Brilliant. Give me that dummy, because I'm shorter one. Right, take him to the tunnel, sweetheart. Right. We did, obviously, we practised all this on grass. I wasn't sure what had happened when we did it on carpet, but we've got a little bit, it's like, uh, what's it called, that fake turf, so it's not too bad. So we're not, Caroline, turn him round. Turn him round. Excellent, right. We don't want him cheating, do we, guys? Right. We're getting up to the next one, and we're ready. Wait for the clap. When you're ready. Come on. Yes! Brilliant! <laughs> Shall we go higher? I thought you might want to go higher. Can you imagine them athletes, how much pressure there was under them, guys? Yeah, all I'm doing here is having a good time. Right, I'm a bit worried about this height, actually, because I've done, we've done it on grass, and like I said, we only had 10 minutes on Wednesday. So, please, George, I want the best you can do. Right, guys, get it going. Yes! Come on, George. Oh! Brilliant. Thank you. I was going to pull it down anyway. Right, Tim and Freddie. Give Caroline and George a big round of applause, guys. That was absolutely excellent. What I actually thought was he jumps better with the retrieve in his mouth. But anyway, right, we brought, we brought the bouquets on for a laugh. Okay, right. We did a little bit of practicing. Freddy, Freddy, Tim, Tim, Tim. We did a bit of practicing. Tim, Fred, let's go on this side first. Come on, on this side first and you'll be hunting the cover. Tim, that's good. 
So what have we not done up to press? Caroline did use a recall whistle, so she'll be in trouble when we finish. See, so of course we've not used the whistle. A lot of the time with the whistle, people use it as a chastisement and not a reward. Yeah, so what I've found is if you can teach your dog to come to you, sit it with your arm, sit with your arm, Timothy. Sit. You then put the whistle to that, you don't need to check the dog because it can do it without you saying anything. So we're now going to add the whistle, recall whistle. Remember, we've only got 25 minutes, guys. Come on, I hope microphone's on. What's up? Good lad. Good voice. Come on, let's start warming you up. The stop whistle. We blow the whistle, throw the dummy. So the dog then starts looking back at me to see what's going on. So then the stop whistle becomes a positive. We then can recall the dogs away. Tim. We're going to just send Freddy. Freddy, get out, because Tim at the moment's having a moment. <laughs> Fred, sit. Presentation should be safe. What's the hardest thing about a spaniel? We get too excited. What does the animal do? Gets excited with him, and before you know it, you've got two nutters. Sit. Take your time. Give a big round of applause, please. Excellent. Sit. 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 Tim. Never mind the shadows. Fred's been in before, Tim's not. Caroline. Somebody asked Caroline, bring me dummies, guys. She's pinched them. Sit. Right, we're going to have to go with a tennis ball and a, and a dummy. Sit. So we're teaching the dog hand signals. Of course, like I say, you're training your youngster, don't do it twos up on retrieving, you individual dogs. But of course, we're trying to show what Freddie and Tim can actually do. So we're gonna send Freddie left, Tim right. And you're all saying, which one's which? And be truthful, I'm not sure half the time. Right, that's you. Right, so Tim's on my left, Freddie's on my right. So Tim's going right, Freddie's going left. Tim. Tim, Freddy, Tim. <laughs> Hold, sit, Freddy, sit. Now this is where they do muck about. Sit, 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 Tim, Fred, sit. Give a big round of applause, guys. Thank you. Right. Tim, Fred. So we tried this before and it worked nice. So we're going to throw the paint roller. Remember, I used paint rollers. Why? The dog has nowhere to pick it, only round it. Yeah, you can't pick the edge. You've got to pick the fabric. We're going to uh, we'll leave uh, Fred there. Tim, Tim, sit. So what we're going to do, we're going to send Tim, stop him, and then send Freddy. Tim, get out. Sit. Fred, get out. Excellent. Right. Of course, we've got to do it the opposite way because it wouldn't be fair on Tim, would it? Sit. Timothy, you're coming round now. Sit. Right. Freddy, why are you being cheeky? Freddy. Fred. Freddy. That's it. Sit. <coughs> Freddy, get out. Sit, Tim. Tim, get out. It still works, guys. <laughs> Sit. Excellent, thank you. Freddy, come on over here. Right. Just hopefully I've got enough stuff. So what we're going to do, Tim. <coughs> Tim. One spaniel's a nutter, two, I'm in trouble. Sit. So we're going to... Sit. <laughs> It's a good job they were watching you. Sit. We're going to throw paint roller under there. A massive paint roller in here, because Caroline's still got them. A tennis ball in this one. So, you now know left, right, sorry, left, right, 
go back. Yeah, so you know now when they go in, you'll know what they're doing. So first of all, we're going to make it so the dog goes in a trap. Yeah, anybody who plays golf, what do you do? You try to stay out of the bunkers. Here, come on. What we're going to try and do with these guys, sit, is get in the bunker and then try and get out of it. So, all the top handlers will be saying to me, Slater, you shouldn't get in the bunker in the first time. Sit. I thought you were coming then, it was a shadow. <laughs> right, so we're going to send them in there. We'll, we'll use Freddy. Sit. Fred, get out. So we let him out. There it is. Excellent. Big round of applause, guys. Thank you. So, of course, now the bunker, I'm going to put him back in there. Yeah? And then we're going to handle him for the right hand one first. Sit. Ready, get out. So we let him out, and he thinks there's something in there. Lost. Tip, my friend. Excellent. Come on, guys, give him a big round of applause. <laughs> now it's Timothy's go. Sit. Timothy, just try and do it as good as Freddy. Tim, get out. So, let him hunt. As you can see, he's not just as busy as Freddy, is he? Yeah, but they are brothers. I'm here. Tim, sit. Excellent. Give a big round of applause. Thank you. Right, we're going to have to be fast, guys. Tim, tip, tip. Fred, get out. Get out. Get out. We've only got four minutes, boss has just said. Are we ready, guys? Tell him, look, come on. Excellent. We're going to finish off now with what everybody likes. So we might have to cheat a little bit and miss a few things out, but don't worry. Uh, come on, I'll come with you because we're in a hurry. Give us the three stooges. Right. Thanks, guys. Come on, quick as we can. So we've got Bobby, Rosie, Bo, and George, the athlete. Louise, you pick your, it's at this end, come. Sit. So we're going to hunt up and see what we can find in this cover. Sit. 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 Ah, ah, Rosie, 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 Rosie. <laughs> Not that quick. Yeah, push forward. Rose. Heel. Shoot. Oh. That was a bit late. Go on. Caroline. Send it for send for George. We've only got four minutes, darling. We're cutting things out. Go. Change your cartridge. Will he go back over? He better add. Excellent. Ready? Uh, Bobby. Rub it behind. That's better. Let George pick that. Excellent. Break your gun and sort your caps out. Big round of applause, guys. I know it was easy. 
Put your decals from. See. Have you done it? See. I know I'll be in trouble for this because we've sorted it, Carl. There you go. Right, we're going on, Tom. Low heel. I don't know what you've come on for because you ain't going to get a retreat now. Bobby. Rose. Let's put her over fence. Over. I know we were going to pick that later, wouldn't we? All right, good girl. Sit. Get out. Sit there. Fire a shot behind. Rabbit. Excellent. So we've got a rabbit behind, guys. We're going to send Bobby. Bobby. Sit. Bobby, get out. How come you're in a hurry? Bobby. Bob. Bob, get out. Bob. Get out. <laughs> Bob. Yes! Oh! Now we can see what the problem is. Right. Where's the rabbit then? He must be in that tunnel over there. Sit. Rose, you better go. Rose, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Excellent. Thanks very much, guys. Everybody have a lovely rest of the night. I will see you next year. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a massive, massive round of applause. Adrian and Caroline Slater. Thank you. Yep. And there's still one. Adrian, there's one behind you. Well done, Adrian. Give him another round of applause. Tremendous stuff. Absolutely brilliant. Absolute superstar. Two items left on Gundog Day here at Crafts 2013. As we clear the arena, we're going to take a look now at some of our tremendous highlights that we've had in an action-packed Super Saturdays.